y'all welcome back to my channel today is monday february 18th and today i am going to be filming a keto full day of eating video so this morning i came to the realization that we are leaving for our cruise in 41 days all of a sudden this cruise snuck up on me and I am not cruise ready, I guess you could say. I am going to be making a conscious effort over the next 41 days because I would love to lose somewhere around 10 to 15 pounds and I know it's totally possible. Ever since I got sick a couple of weeks ago when I was taking all those medicines, I felt like my face has been puffy, like I felt puffy and bloated. And I also just had my thyroid tested, so I should know those results very soon. Make sure all my thyroid levels are okay. So, hopefully in these next 41 days, I can accomplish that goal of losing some weight, gaining a little bit more confidence, and feeling myself in a bathing suit while I'm on the cruise. So, hopefully over the next couple of weeks, I can kind of document everything that I'm doing if I'm having any progress, if I'm, you know, gaining weight, losing weight. So I will keep y'all updated with all of this. But we're going to go ahead and get this day started. Bo is currently asleep under my desk, sucking on his little goldfish toy. And I think it's just so adorable. I am going to be starting off my morning with a cup of iced coffee. I have some coffee I brewed yesterday, so I am just going to pour that over ice. And then I am going to use my handy dandy food scale to weigh out about one serving of heavy whipping cream. And I always get comments about this. I know you technically cannot weigh milliliters, but using my food scale right here, it gives me a rough estimate that I am measuring about one serving out. And now I'm going to use a little bit of this liquid stevia and that will be my iced coffee. Just made my iced coffee and now I'm about to just park myself in front of my computer for a little while, do a little bit of work before I have to head to CrossFit in a little over an hour. Here in about five minutes, I need to head out the door and over to CrossFit. However, I don't really like working out on an empty stomach, so I have one of these two good yogurts in the strawberry flavor. I added a couple of drops of stevia to give it a little sweetness, and this is what I'm going to eat before I go work out because those workouts, they kick my butt. They about kill me every single time. So having a little something in my stomach just makes me feel like I have a little bit more energy. So I'm about to eat this real quick and then head out the door to go have my butt kicked today because the workout looks deadly. 2,000 years later. Well, I am looking like a hot mess, but I just got back home from CrossFit. The workout about killed me today but it feels good to get my sweat on, just get in a good workout, breathe really hard, sweat everywhere, makes you feel good. Anyways, on my way back in, I stopped by the front office and I had my package from Amazon that I ordered my dress that was supposed to be here for Valentine's Day. Well, it's here now, so I'll have to find somewhere to wear it, but I bought it off Amazon. It was like 20 bucks or something, but it's super cute. It's got these cute little sleeves. And then I also got me a Gucci belt, but the poor man's version because it was knockoff on Amazon. Super cute, but no one has to know that except all, you know, 120,000 of you now know that my Gucci belt's fake. Whatever. Anyways, it is now about one o'clock. I'm a little bit hungry, so now the next thing on my mind is trying to figure out what I'm going to do for lunch. It is now about two o'clock. Cody needed to run an errand, so I'm here with Cody and Bo, and we just went and stopped by Jimmy John's for lunch. I haven't had Jimmy John's probably a year, year and a half. It's been a long time, and this used to be like a staple of mine. I used to eat Jimmy John's a couple times a week because it's so easy and so keto friendly. So what I got was a number nine in Italian, 
Unwitch, which is where they wrap it in lettuce, took off the tomatoes and added hot peppers. So, so good. I'll show you all a picture of it in a minute when I unwrap it, but highly recommend Jimmy John's if you've never tried it. Here is my Unwitch. I always pull off a little bit of the lettuce because it's just too much on the end. But inside, I think there's like ham, salami, onions, mayo, hot peppers. I'm not sure what else. But they just wrap it nice and neat in this lettuce. And it's very keto friendly. I love Jimmy John. What you doing, crazy dog? What you doing? <gasps> you went your ball? Oh, you crazy. You crazy. Oh, ready? Go get it. Hey guys, it is now about six o'clock. The past couple of hours, Cody and I have been totally worthless just laying on the couch watching TV. However, we are going to go ahead and start getting dinner ready. Let me show you what we are cooking. We thawed these steaks yesterday. They are New York strips. Cody seasoned them and we're letting them come to room temperature. So we have them sitting out for about 30 minutes before Cody goes and grills them. Over here, we are going to do some veggies. I have these zucchinis that are about to go bad. So I am going to slice these up. Slice up a little bit of red onion. This is a gigantic red onion. I will not be using the whole thing. And I am going to saute those in a pan. And then lastly, I have this bag of cauliflower rice and right now our freezer is jam packed full. So I am also going to make some loaded cauliflower rice to just kind of start cleaning out our freezer because there's no space for anything in there. A couple of these zucchinis had a little bit of bruising on them, so I sliced that off, but they are good to go. So I'm just going to slice these up pretty thinly and just pop them in my pan over here. And now I am just going to slice up half of this giant red onion. I just chopped up my zucchini and red onion. I had a little bit more red onion than I planned on, but oh well, it will cook down quite a bit because I cook the poop out of this. I really like it to be caramelized. It just tastes so good. So I put about two tablespoons of butter into the bottom of this. Just turned on my pan to a medium heat. And now I am going to put in a heaping spoonful of garlic, enough to keep the vampires away, of course, but mainly because we love garlic and it cooks off a lot when I cook it down so, so much. And then I do a little bit of the garlic juice in there. And now I am just going to cover this with a lid and let it start cooking down and stirring it every couple of minutes. My vegetables are cooking, the zucchini's getting soft, the onions are getting a little bit translucent, but I am going to cook it down until it caramelizes. What I am going to season this with tonight is this seasoning by Fresh Jacks. I will link them down below. This is a small little family run business in Jacksonville, Florida. It is the Herbs de Provence. I don't think I said that right but it's this little French herb sea salt blend. It's got some delicious things in there and I thought it would be great on my veggies tonight. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in my hand and sprinkle that all over my veggies. I am also going to do a little bit of black pepper as well. Now to get started on the loaded cauliflower rice. So I took the easy way out and used some already riced cauliflower. I need to start making it fresh, just better for you. But this is what I have left in my freezer, so trying to use it up. I just microwaved this until it was soft. And now I'm going to dump it into a pan. I have my cauliflower rice heating up to a low medium heat. I just grated up some sharp cheddar cheese to add to the cauliflower. I'm also going to add some sour cream here in a minute when it's heated up. 
as well as some real bacon pieces. So going to let this heat up and then we will add in the loaded cauliflower ingredients. Sorry about the fan in the background. There is something burning off of one of these pans. So I am just going to add some cheese into here. Now I'm just going to add some of my bacon pieces. And lastly, a big old glob of sour cream. And now a little salt and a little pepper. And now I am just going to stir this all together and let it cook down for a couple of minutes. I'm going to let this cauliflower rice bubble for a couple of minutes and kind of let it thicken up. The veggies are really close to being done. As you can see, they're browning a little bit, getting caramelized. That is what we want. And Bo is over here crying because Cody left. So I just got him his daily dentist stick. This kind of helps keep his teeth clean because he will not let me brush them. So there you go, puppy. Go, go, go. <laughs> Cody just got back from grilling the steaks. The grills at our apartment suck and we have to walk to the front. So we don't know what we're going to do next time. If you have any tips on how to cook a steak like on the stove top in a cast iron skillet, send us all of your tips because the grills suck and it's a long walk but anyways on another note veggies are caramelized loaded cauliflower is ready pretty sure i just put way too much on my plate but time to dig into dinner well guys we just finished up with dinner a little while ago and it was so good I forgot how much I loved that zucchini and red onion sauteed together until it's pretty much caramelized. It is just so delicious, oh my golly. But it is getting close to wrapping things up and going to bed, but I wanted to take a minute to tell y'all about something I am trying and I wanna get y'all's opinion on it or if you do this too. So recently, I have started taking CBD oil. It is a company called Premium Jane. I will link them down below in the description. They are highly rated and scientifically tested to show that what you're consuming is what it says on the box. CBD oil, for those of y'all who don't know what it is, it is found in the cannabis plant. However, it does not contain THC, or at least the one I am using does not contain THC. So you don't get any sort of high off of it, and it doesn't have any like mind-altering effects to it. However, it does have some health benefits, which is why I have decided to start taking it every single day. They only have two ingredients. There is the hemp extract, which is the CBD oil, and they infuse it in an MCT oil so that you can put it under your tongue and it can be absorbed into your bloodstream. In my last video, I talked about how I was struggling with anxiety and for like months and months, I have heard how much CBD oil can be beneficial for those with anxiety. And that is what prompted me to start giving CBD oil a try. So here's a little list right here of what CBD oil is supposed to do. It's supposed to help relieve chronic pain which I always have pain in my back. I have for years. So I want to see if I take this over time, if I am going to start to see some noticeable changes because sitting in this chair, I feel like pain in my back. It's just like something I deal with every day. I don't even think about it because it's always there. But it also says reduces inflammation. So that'll be interesting with, with me working out heavily and being sore. Is it going to help me recover from my workouts? Um, reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression, help with chronic obesity and weight loss. We'll see about that. Um, reduce the occurrence of insomnia, relieve nerve pain, and improve memory and cognition. So reading through this list of what CBD oil while it has not been approved by the FDA, there have been a lot of people, a lot of studies that have said like this can definitely help you. So I'm giving it a try. I am going to continue to give y'all updates on it, but I want to know y'all's opinion. Have you ever tried CBD oil? Have you reaped benefits of it? But I don't know. It's something new I'm trying, and I'm actually really excited to see how it affects me as I take it 
for a longer period of time than just a couple of days. I have been taking it so far and Bo just farted. Nice. <laughs> I literally look like I've been hit by a bus. Oh my golly. Please ignore this right now. But your girl just woke up from being asleep on the couch. So I think that means it is time for me to go wash my face, go jump in the shower, and go crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep so that I can do all the things tomorrow. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this keto full day of eating vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mwah.